Hello, in this demo, I will show how to build the invoking subprocesses sample application that is shipped with Tipco Actomatrix Business Work 6. You can refer to the folder core slash SOA for the shipped code call process and invokes.zip. In this sample, the make noise process calls the invoke subprocess multiple times which in turn calls another subprocess log. Here we are going to create one BW process make noise.bwp and two subprocesses invoke.bwp and log.bwp. Both subprocesses implement a service and operation. The invoke.bwp implements an operation echo that simply returns the input string as output. Other subprocess log.bwp implements log operation and does not accept any input neither it returns any output. It simply logs a string message on the console and also writes the same message into a file. Let's get started. Open the BW Studio and create a new workspace and create a new BW application module. Uncheck the option for creating empty process as we are going to create processes later. Click the finish button and BW Studio creates an app module and BW application. Open the app module and see the folders. There is a processes folder. Create a new BW subprocess by right clicking the processes folder and select the menu create new BW subprocess. Provide the process name as log. Select custom for creating service interface and click next. Select the option to create new visual interface and provide the interface and operation name as log. That is, we are creating log interface having an operation named log. Browse to provide the schema of input message. Click on the button create new schema. You can add primitive elements as well as complex elements here. But our sample application has a simple string input. Hence, I will select the string element. Keep the checkbox of output message unchecked as this operation does not have any output. Click OK. You can see the process has been added one receive activity. Also verify that a schema XSD file has been created in schema folder and whistle for the log service has been created in service descriptor folder. Now this service is going to write a string echo on the console using log activity and also write the same message in the file. So we need to add log activity and write file activity to the process. There are three ways you can add activities. Number one, select the appropriate palette from palette explorer and then click on the suitable activity. For example, I select general activities palette followed by log activity here. With the activity selected, click anywhere on the process area and the selected activity gets added to the process. Number two, right click on the process area and select the appropriate palette and activity. For example, I select file palette and write file activity and the write file is added to the process. Number three, every activity has a hovering menu beneath it. Click on the menu and select the palette and activity. The activity gets added as well as the transition is also created. So we have three activities added in the process. Let's ensure that they are connected using transition lines. Now we'll configure these. Open the properties tab for log activity and provide input string echo. To configure write file activity, we need to provide a file path. You can either specify the literal value of the file path or create a new process or module property. Here I will create a new module property. Select the module property option. Edit this property name to output underscore file. Give a space. Provide the actual value for the property. In this case, it is c colon slash tmp slash call process and invoke slash output dot log then click on the icon to create a new module property open the module properties from module descriptor folder and verify this new property got created with the specified value now go back to the properties of write file activity specify string value echo in the input tab Thus, you have configured log.bwp subprocess with a log operation and two activities. Next step is to create a subprocess that invokes service of log.bwp. Right click the processes folder and select option to create new subprocess. Name it invoke, select custom interface and click next. Specify echo as the new interface and operation name. This operation needs input and output schema each having one string element. Click the browse button and then click create new schema. Provide name as echo schema and select a string element. Click OK. To specify output, check the checkbox for output message and select the same schema element we just created. This will serve our purpose as our echo operation is simply going to return the input string. Now the process is created with echo interface and an operation with the same name. 
verify that echoschema.xsd and invoke.wsdl are created in schema and service descriptor folders respectively. Delete the transition between start and end activities. We want to add here an invoke activity that calls log.pwp. Add an invoke activity from the basic palette. Create transition from start to invoke activity and invoke activity to end activity. In the general tab of properties view, select the sub process log and operation log. In the input tab, map input from start activity. Similarly, for the end activity, map the input string as a response. Last step, we need to create a BW process that calls invoke sub process. Right click the green chevron of echo service and select option to create a calling process. Name the process make noise. Now add process starter activity timer and configure it to run every 3 seconds for 10 occurrences. Then add a log activity and write file activity. Select the module property created output underscore file as file name. Input to the log and write file activity is output of the echo operation. Map this input. If you want the output on each separate line, you need to specify true for line separator. And we are done. Now our sample application is ready. Verify that there are no errors listed in the problems tab. You can run the business works application. Refer to the readme page for how to run and verify the results. Hope this demo helps you to create business works process, sub processes, services, operations and configure them. Thank you for watching this video.